such a relief. Um, and I think that, and yeah, and I say that because when I first spoke to you about tapping years ago and I thought, no way is that going to be able to do anything. It's, but it makes sense that the tapping now, now when I'm, now I still use it. Yeah. There's certain parts of me, like for me, it's the collarbone. And sometimes you feel, if I feel a bit overwhelmed, I might go into the toilet if I'm in a busy place and just like tap, tap on my hands. And I don't even have to say anything, but it, it's just the pressure almost and the energy that's there, just, just letting go. So, yeah. Yes. And how do you feel now? Where was the anxiety and where is it now? How was that anxiety? I can't remember. A hundred on the scale. It's a it's a zero now. Obviously, I get anxious. We've not we've, everyone gets we've not seen each other for how long? Oh. We've not seen each other uh, for since a year. Yeah. But is it it's in a session, a year a year? Yeah, we worked together for three Over months. A year. We worked together Over for a year. Months. Yeah. And how were you feeling before you came to see me? Uh, awful awful I was I honestly thought I was that was my life forever what was I, life I, thought life? I was just convinced that my life would be health anxiety um a constant fear of of death um of getting some sort of serious illness um and and, I, and and actually that was just a huge amount of shit that I've been holding on to guilt shame trauma and and yeah and and, and now I I just I, I can't I really cannot remember the last time I had a any sort of bodily sensation bear in mind I was was checking every single day checking google checking body checking just any sort fair, of like so you've had no anxiety whatsoever just talk me through that because you were having multiple panic attacks a day none, weren't you? none none since I've no anxiety and you were having t just tell us how much anxiety you were having before we started working together uh, my, my life felt like a full-blown panic attack every day I don't I didn't I was dissociating every single day for the for, for and I couldn't leave the house at a period of time because if I left the house and I left the safe space, I'd start to dissociate and panic attack. So I was spending time at home. Um, it, it, it was it was literally three, well, one really bad month. But until we started working working together, um, and yeah, I haven't I haven't had a panic attack for a year longer whenever we stopped stopped our sessions so I've not had any obviously I have anxiety but only like normal daily anxieties like oh, I'm a little bit, bit anxious about this meeting that I've got or I'm a little bit anxious about going to this social setting that maybe I haven't been to before I met people just normal daily anxieties but yeah well, like you say, it was no, that debilitating. You couldn't leave the no, house. No, yeah. I mean, genuinely couldn't leave the house. Um, 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 and how, how does life look now? What, where are you? What's going on with life now over a year later? Life's great. I, I feel very good. Like, I feel physically feel amazing. Um, literally the best I've ever been. I'm training for a half marathon now, Ooh. which I would not have done. Um... I feel so confident in my skin, which has not been a thing for literally for <laughs> since I was about 15. And what were you saying before we came off camera? You were in Ibiza. Just talk to me about that. Yeah. So I was in Ibiza um, and for many years I, I didn't feel confident wearing a bikini. And yeah, was was in Ibiza in a bikini, feeling absolutely amazing. Um and I know that it and I know it's I know it's the work that we've done because I was holding on to so much negative energy all the time that I just felt so negative about myself. Um, and yeah, I can't remember what, what, what I was, was going to say something before that, but I can't remember what I was going to say, which was it's probably important. But yeah, so now I feel really good. I um, have such a low tolerance for gossip and negative, anything that feels like it's, 
it's taken away from my energy. So, you know, I've cut certain people out of my life that maybe don't feel good to be around. Try and keep my, my circle full of people who make me feel good. Um, huge focus on on yoga, um, gratitude, um, spirituality. So, mm -hmm. yeah, life feels very good right now. Well, you deserve it. You're amazing.